Thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the Yakima Stage 2 Hitch Mounted Dual Bike Rack. Hitch Tray Bike Racks offer a secure and simple way to transport bikes without any contact points between the rack and your bike frame. The Yakima Stage 2 is marketed as a premium tray hitch bike rack and offers a variety of convenience, safety, and usability features. You can see it comes packed very well in a big cardboard box. Everything is separated with cardboard and plastic dividers, so it does take quite a while to get through all that packaged material. Yakima claims it's about a five minute installation, but we'd say five to 30, depending on how fast you can get through all the tape. You can see everything comes undamaged though, despite the large size of the package and the weight, which is really impressive. In terms of specs, the Stage 2 retails for $849, so a premium hitch rack. It's available both a 1.25 inch and a two inch hitch receiver option, as well as a charcoal color and this white vapor that we have here. Some of the cool features here are the tool-free speed knob, which locks it into the hitch and it can actually use the same key to lock it in place. You have integrated cable locks that use that same key system, which is what they call their SKS system, as well as a tilting design so you can access your hatch. Putting the rack together is pretty straightforward. There's only a few steps with the instructions. You wanna put the main spine, spline portion through the hitch, install each of the racks and use about four bolts each. Then you have the pivoting arms, which actually push down on the front wheels, which you need to be bolted in place. There is no torque wrench included with the rack, so you will have to use your own if you wanna get the correct torque measurements. Otherwise, you can use the provided six millimeter Allen key. Once you have each of the pivot arms, you can see you just tighten them enough to get through the thread lock, but not so tight that it won't rotate anymore. It's a tiered system, so you can see the rear one's a little bit higher, and you just repeat that process with the pivot arm. Once that's locked into place, you'll be able to rotate it. And again, just tighten it down to feel everything nice and snug without any side to side motion. The total weight of the two rack, two tray configuration is 66 pounds. For about $500, you can get a second two rack addition that just bolts on to the end. And here you can see the finished product. So you have two trays and then the handle at the rear. So a pretty nice overall unit and you can put this in your garage or leave it on your car, depending on how your parking situation is set up. Now let's take a closer look at the fit and finish of the Yakima two-stage mount. Here it is in the stowed position. So you can see it goes up nice and vertical, gets it out of the way. There are no duplicate lights here or license plate relocators like you see with more expensive racks. But for the price, it works really well and it doesn't really block the license plate that much. You can see you have the Yakima on the back, and then Yakima branding on the other spot. This is the gray version. They have a better looking anodized one, which is more of a charcoal color, but this one also looks good. You have a nice little handle here. So a simple plastic, pull down with that lever, and then it locks into place in the main position. This is where you wanna put it to actually put your bikes on, or the out of the way tilted version. So you can do this to access your trunk bed. So it works out really well, and you can see plenty of space. The rack itself is constructed of a combination of metal and plastic. Obviously the important parts are all metal, so two trays. This is expandable, up to four bikes. So you can actually take this handle off and then add the additional racks on there. These are metal, so the trays are two pieces with four bolts holding them all together. Then you have additional two that actually just connect the inner connector between the tray pieces. The rear wheel attaches using just a simple plastic ratcheting device with a little unlock button. So it works really well. It is just plastic, but it does work. And then the front wheel uses this nice wide holder. So your front wheel sits in here and then you have the fork mount that tilts up and over your fork. This has a little handle as well and ratcheting. So you can push down until it locks into place and then tilt it out of the way when you're not using it. You can run this with one bike as well. And you can see the way they've actually angled the trays, they're a little bit offset. So you have more like theater positioning. So this one's higher than the first one. And that prevents this from actually dragging on the ground. So if you're going up a hill, you can see it's all angles upward and out of the way. And also prevents the bikes from interacting with each other. Here you can see our road bike in that front wheel holder. And again, it is a very wide holder, definitely designed for fat tire bikes and ours goes right down the center of the smaller one and very secure. The front fork on there is also held in place. 
So if you look up, you can see the V goes right in front of the fork. You want it less than an inch away and definitely forward so it doesn't slide off. So it's past the middle of the axis of the wheel. Here's a road bike with the rear tire attached. You can see this still slides around, but you want it roughly right in the center and then push down enough so it doesn't really move around. Now, one of the cheaper aspects about the two-stage is this little handle. So it's a plastic handle. You can see it's already cracked on ours. And this allows you to actually adjust the angle. So when you want to store it upright, you just pull up on this and you can hear the lock and then you can tilt it downward as well. So if you want to access your hatch, you can easily do that. And then to bring it back up, you just lift and you should hear it lock back into place. So it does feel a little cheap, but definitely works. And you can also use this again to tilt it upward when you want to put it in a storage position. The two stage also has a number of really nice safety features integrated directly into the rack. On each of the tire holders, you actually have an SKS cable lock integrated directly into it. So they're provided two keys. Both of them work on the locks. So it's the same one for both. And with this, it actually falls inside of the holder. So it slides right in when you're not using it. And it has a little tab here that holds it in place. When you want to use it, obviously you just pull up on it, wrap it through your frame, and then wheels if you'd like. So it's fairly short. And then it has the little hook on the side. So once that's in there, you just lock the lock back. And now it's there. It is fairly thin cable lock, of course, so really easy to cut. But nice secondary device, that means someone can't just walk away with it. The other safety feature is this nice welded on lock pass through. So you can run your own cable lock or chain right through this in between both bikes as it's right in between. So really good access A nice safety feature. It's very uh, thick metal. So definitely something you can't just cut through. The other feature is this little wedge in the hitch mount itself. So you rotate it right to expand it and then left to loosen it. Once you have it locked in, you can use the same key to actually lock this. And when it's locked, you can see it's loose. So that means it's also not possible just to pull this out of the hitch mount itself. So a really nice safety feature and gives you more security. So you can see this doesn't really wobble or anything thanks to the wedge. The other really nice thing about this rack is the fact that you can move it out of the way. So even with the loaded, we can grab the handle and then tilt downward. So with that, for most vehicles, you should now have enough space to actually access the back of your hatch sack, or in our case, the bed. So you can see a pretty slick setup. Here you can see another angle of the rack with it tilted downward. So you can see plenty of space to actually access cargo. And then we can easily lift up our tailgate, no issues. And then you simply pull up on the rack, especially with two bikes on there, it is a little bit heavier, but definitely manageable. And then you're ready to ride again. Now unloading the bike is really simple as well. So to unload it, you obviously want to unlock it if you have the lock set up. So we'll do that first. Slide it back through and then pop them in place. Then you want to loosen the rear ratchet. So a simple plastic ratchet and then pull up on the front fork and slide it out of the way. So with that, the bike is free and you can pull it off and then go riding. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the stage two rack. What we like about it is that it has a tier tray setup. So there's no contact between the bikes on the separate trays. And the entire thing is actually angled upward. So you have more ground clearance between the rack and the ground. It also has a very nice tilting feature, which makes it easy to access your vehicle. Whether you have a pickup bed or a hatchback, you can still access it by just tilting it downward and then tilting it back up when you're done. There's also a number of clever security details, such as the speed knob, which actually locks the rack into your hitch, as well as the integrated cable locks in each of the front pivoting arms. The main con for the rack is the fact that the tilting lever does feel a little bit cheap. And even on our rack, the plastic shroud on that already showed some signs of damage and cracking. Taking everything into account would give the Stage 2 rack a 9.2 out of 10. It's a well-built bike rack with a lot of nice security features. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com, as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.